Welcome back to What RT Noobs for General Disturbance. This is the S-51. It's the Tier 7 Soviet SPG located on the east border of Berlin. This one is under the command of Tarheel Rambler. Not sure who the commander on this one is, but um, yep, it's his first battle in the S-51, so he's got the stop machine with the 152mm howitzer, the BR-2, and it's capable of, um, if I get this uh, correct, ooh, it's capable of doing 600 alpha, 38mm of pen, 7.2 meters on the burst radius, 11 and a half to 23 seconds of stun. Now, it's equivalent in many ways to the M12. It's got the same sort of capability, although the M12 is a 155mm and this is 152. Not much difference. Oh, we fired snap. Unfortunately, the rescue was just too big and he missed the chance to get the Pajetto. He's just getting the hang of it. Now, the standard reload, 23.97 seconds. He's already managed to reduce that to 20.79. And I suspect he's probably got the uh, a good crew and also possibly a rammer in there as well to reduce the time. Now, as you probably know, Tarheel Rambler, uh, like the rest of us, um, is actually a player who's struggling against um, difficulties in terms of his ability to actually control his mouse because I um, actually also have sometimes have problems getting my aim on. But he struggles all the same, but he manages to get some great results even though he's playing um, almost with a disability. I mean, he's not the only player who does that. Steve Walsh also plays with disability. He's not only got autism, but he's also got dystonia, which actually kind of makes his hand do things that he doesn't want to do. Tarheel Rambler's trying to get this T-32. Not loaded yet, but... Ah, oh, okay, the 53 TP next. Okay, he's not fully dialed in, but he's close. And he does get a hit. In fact, it looks like it hit the front of the turret right next to the mantlet, because there's a big yellow stain there, which wasn't there before. He's looking around for another target to shoot at. There are a number down in the south. Now, the S-51 was built on the hull of a KV-1S. But, unfortunately, the hull wasn't really very, very strong. Mainly down to the fact, of course, although it's a heavy tank, it was lightened to make the KV faster. You know, they made it the sports version, almost, you might say. Um, <laughs> it's not quite that, but... Um, they, they just needed to make the, uh, the KV-1S able to keep up with its, uh, the T-34s that it was uh, platoon with. But the Soviets had that problem all the way along. KVs were very uh, capable of blocking the shells that the enemy was throwing, that the Germans were throwing. But it just simply was too slow, very sluggish, and the T-34s would actually get away from them. Okay, the Bisontes decided to park himself behind that uh, barricade, but in such a way as that Tarheel Rambler can get a shot directly on him. Rams out. That's a hit. In fact, it looked like the shell hit the, the bulge at the back where the ammo rack is normally for the auto reloader. The bustle, as they call it. Another good hit! 177 this time. And in fact, actually, it makes him a one-shot for our teammates. And this is what RT does. This is a good thing about RT. Is that uh, one of the really good things. I mean, obviously, I love RT because uh, I feel it's a very pure way of playing the game. Because you're more tactical. But the, uh, the way I love it is because... We can strip away the hit points on these enemy tanks and our teammates can easily take them out and get a, a quick kill. 
So they get the medals for the number of kills and we get the medals for the high calibers. Okay. One more shot. He could get this kill actually himself, but before he can shoot, his teammate takes him out and it was the Progetto who claimed the kill there. Now, one thing Tarheel Rambler's not doing and he could do is actually to mark his targets. And that would really help his teammates because it would tell them which tank he's actually attacking. It would pop up and oh, he did stun the T-44 with that last shot. And the T-44 is getting ants in the pants. He wants to get out of there. He wants to get out. He's trying to use the wreck for cover. Rounds out. Just missed him again, but understandable. He moved forward, but he's gone now. And the Progetto got an easy kill there as well. So that's two easy kills. The Progetto managed to get all down to Tar Heel Rambler to take them out. But there is a Striv S1 much further on, and he could be a problem for the Progetto. He's having a look down by the uh, cap at the moment because there's two enemy tanks down there. He can't get at one of them because the SU-122 is just around the corner and there's buildings in the way. He might actually have to relocate if um, if they get closer to him. Yeah, he can see half the cap, but he can't see the full cap. But our teammates are covering the cap area, so he could relocate whilst he's got the chance. Instead, he's looking after the enemy RT there because there's a Crusader SP just been spotted on the other side of the battlefield. I think he's just on the edge there of that uh, bridge support. He's firing the round in. Oh, he got him! He got a blind kill! Took out the Crusader. Now, can he take out this SU-14-1? Because if he does, that will be a counter-battery. Oh, that would be nice. Getting a medal on his very first game. Oh, we just saw the Tracer come out from that spot. We know he's firing. Rounds out. This could be for a medal. It is! And that is why they call me the Shredder. Yes, he got a medal. He's picked up the counter-battery fire medal for taking out the enemy RT. There's only one enemy left. It's a Wizzy 111 1FT. And there he is. He's only a short distance away from us, but we can't get at him because the buildings are in the way. So I think um, he's going to go mobile or go Rambo uh, and uh, drive towards the enemy. Too late. The enemy's dead, but that's a victory for Tar Heel Rambler. Here's the end of battle results, and that was an excellent first game in the S-51 because he got a second-class tanker, and it's the first time he's had a second-class tanker because he's never played this tank before, this RT. Very well done. He also got a counter-battery fire medal for taking out both enemy SPGs in the game, and he also got a bruiser medal for getting at least five critical hits. In fact, he picked up seven. His win eight was 1,459, which is good. But on a first game, this is excellent results. Let's have a look at team score. Well, he didn't get the highest damage in the game. That went to the Wizzy 111-1 FT on the enemy team. Picked up a high caliber for 3,732 hit points. Probably their best player and, well, probably uh, let down by the rest of his team being so poor. Second highest damage goes to the Scorpion on our team with 2,611. And third highest damage went to the Skoda on our team, the Skoda T56, with 2,275. We can see Tar Heel Rambler in the S51 got 1,106, which puts him mid-table. When it came to kill, though, he's actually in joint third place because the top scorer was the Scorpion and the Wizzy 111. Both got four kills. Three kills went to the SMV CC67 on our team, and he also picked up a steel wall. And two kills went to the ISU-122S on our team, and to Tar Heel Rambler, and to the Progetto 46, and to the SU-122-44 on the enemy team. So at least he got third place on that one. When it came to base XP, he's in fourth place because the SMV CC67 managed 962, 958 went to the Scorpion, 917 to the Skoda T56, and then we've got Tar Heel Rambler with 810, which beats all the players on the enemy team on base XP. He fired 14 rounds. Again, that's a decent amount of ammunition to get a good result, and he did get a good result. Seven direct hits on the enemy, one penetrating shot, and 10 splash. 
Well, can we work out which one he penetrated? I think it's probably one of the arty, actually. I doubt it's the Crusader. No, it wasn't, because he splash killed that guy because he was away from the aim point when it went through. But the SU-14 one was, uh, yes, he was completely pierced. That round was right on target. It went right in and penetrated deep into him and wiped him out. So, and earned him a counter battery fire medal in the process. He also got 10 splashes, 1,106 hit points, all of it at more than 300 meters, damaged five of the enemy, killed two, did 1,151 hit points of stun assist off 11 stuns. On a premium count, he actually earned 22,870 credits for that game. He got 25 bonds for a mission achievement. And he also took away 2,430 experience points as well. Uh, so a very, very good first game in the S51. If he keeps doing this, he'll be having ace tankers in next to no time. I hope you appreciated that video. If you did, please give this video a like. Do subscribe to our channel. Leave a little comment down below because it feeds the algorithm. And the algorithm does like to nom. And thank you for watching.